Hello guys, welcome back to episode 5, I think, of my GTA 3 series, where I'm trying to 100% complete GTA 3. In the last episode, I managed to finish all the story missions on the first island, and now I'm going to do a couple of the telephone missions, so this episode will be about this character called El Burro, I think his name is, and you have to do some bits and bobs for him. Even though it doesn't have anything to do with the story, it's still going to help me 100% complete this game. This is El Burro at the Diablos. You are new in Liberty, but already you are gaining a reputation on the streets. There is a street race starting by the old school hall near the Callahan Bridge. Get yourself some wheels and first through all the checkpoints wins the prize. Okay, so I was clever enough to already have a Diablo Stallion prepared, which is the car that my game guide suggests you use to try and do this mission which is a straightforward street race. Um, these these can usually be quite hard. I, 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 I did most of the street races on the Vice City games, but I've never done this street race before. Um, and usually what happens is, is that people and more often the other cars get in your way with their stupid erratic driving. So let's see how I do. So I decided to just hang back a little bit then, let the other cars take each other out. Um, uh, I think I'm already smoking, my car's already smoking, that's going to be a problem as well, the damage to your car. My car's already smoking and I've, I've only been racing for 26 seconds so I can imagine you probably won't be hearing this right now, me talking right now, and that I will have, well, I was about to say that I would have edited this out, but, oh, I'm driving the wrong way. Yeah, I probably will edit this out, and you will see me playing this again, but actually completing it, because I don't think I'm gonna this time. That's defeatist. No, I'm going to do it. I'm going to, if I can stop smashing into street lamps, I'm going to do this mission first time. Boom. Yeah, I'm very worried about my car now. It is... Oh. I'm going to be very lucky if this manages to get over the finish line. Just taken first place. It's looking good. Don't really want to watch out. I don't really want to say too much at the moment because I don't want to. Uh... <laughs> I didn't want to jinx myself, and now I've got the police on me as well. Hurrah! Oh, I am back in first. All right, gonna concentrate. If you hear any noise or banging or anything, hopefully you won't hear anything, but I've got some builders in my house at the moment. And they're outside of my games room. And I can only assume that I sound like a complete lunatic at the moment. They must think I'm a right tit while I'm talking whilst playing a game. Is this the finish line coming up? Yes! Right. Oh, and I got a trophy. That's good. That's always good. So I'm going to head back, save this game, 
And then on to the next El Burro mission. Okay, what I should have done at this point is hopefully I've managed to edit out the last sort of five or six minutes of the gameplay because I was just out searching for a for my trusty taxi which I'm back in now I'm heading back to the phone box to do the next mission for El Burro here we go I started my exotic entertainment business with nothing but the sizable contents of my leather pants a gang of no goods has threatened to remove my starring member if I don't pay them a cut they threatened the wrong man, amigo. They have a weakness for the ice cream. Pick up the bomb I've hidden in hardwood, hijack the regular ice cream van on its rounds, and lure these fools to their doom with the jingly jingly. They hide in a warehouse on Atlantic Key. So according to my game guide, this should be a pretty straightforward mission. I go and pick up a bomb, then I go and steal a ice cream truck, and then I have to uh, just park the truck and set the bomb and wait for, wait for some people, I think, to be near the truck and then I blow it up, and that should be the end of the mission. So nice, I love, I love these kind of missions, they're nice and easy, nice and fun, get to enjoy them. The racing things just stress me out. So there's the bomb. Find an ice cream van. Right. I assume the ice cream van is this blip and I don't have to just find an ice cream van because I haven't really seen them very often. I'm really hoping that you can't hear all that noise. Um, I can't imagine there is any way possible that my dialogue is coming out clear. Um, <laughs> there's just a lot of banging going on and I'm having new floors put in the house if anyone's interested. So just take this ice cream van. So let me talk you through what's going on at my house at the moment. Uh, we're having all the the skirtons taking off the wall and uh, having the having new floors put down in almost every single room in the house. It's exciting times in the Buckley household. I can tell you that much. Um, but my commitment to you guys and to YouTube is unfaltering, and I shall carry on doing this nonsense while real men are outside my room doing real work. So here's the place where I need to park. Just get through these traffic cones. Right, I need to... L3. Exit the van and use the remote to detonate the ice cream. Okay, so I need to be far as far away from the van as possible. I need to be able to see. Ah, these look like the guys that I'm supposed to blow up. So I'll wait until they're all close to the van. A little bit more. Boom. Alright. That's pretty good. Just collect some money and their guns and stuff, might as well. Um, Yes, no, sorry if you can hear some noise, but as I say, when I started this YouTube channel, I never ever set out to make it slick or professional. I wanted, to, I wanted it to be accessible. I wanted it to feel like it was just a normal person who doesn't really know, really know what he's doing, making YouTube videos about something he loves. And I think you guys appreciate the honesty. A tip, for, a tip, big tip. Here's a tip. Here's a genuine tip, a genuine bit of advice. If you're playing GTA, I mean, I'm going to get in this taxi now. But and this guy's following me. But if you are on foot, always take the first car that's available. 
because if you're on foot, cars rarely spawn. And if you run around and look for a specific car, like I do, I like to drive the taxi, you'll end up just running around aimlessly for a long, long time. So I'm going to head back now. I've got my taxi. I'm going to stick it in the garage. I'm going to save the game and do the next mission. Alright, swing it in here, stick it in my parking space, and have a little kip on that awful looking bed. So I actually just uh, took a moment then to go over what the audio of my commentary, which you're listening to now, while I'm playing the game. I'm wearing a little microphone that's picking up me speaking. Technical, eh? Right, let's just start this mission quickly. Some insolent triad stole my beautiful car last night, wrecked it and left it burning. Some of my most precious donkey memorabilia was in the trunk. Real collectibles that are irreplaceable, my friend. I've hidden a throbbing weapon on the edge of Chinatown. Take it and teach these triad vandals to fear El Boros well in that wrath! Arriba! But yeah, I had a quick little listen to the commentary and all that banging. <laughs> the, the, uh, you know, I'm using a very good microphone. I must, you know, give props to the microphone because the banging doesn't even sound like it's coming from the next room. It sounds like it's coming from two inches away from the microphone. So I'm really sorry about that. But there's not a lot I can do. It's difficult. It's the thing, I don't know a lot about many things. But I do know that a house needs floors. And there's something philosophical you can probably... Uh, I don't know, take from that. Where am I going? Right, there's a gun, there's a thing here. I need to pick this up and I need to kill 25 triads. Right, I've been told to drive to, drive sort of and head towards a, a basketball pitch. What's a basketball thing? So I need to kill these people in blue. And I've only got a little amount of time to do that. There's one there. Also, I need to be careful that I don't set fire to myself, which is very easy to do with the flamethrower. There's another one. Oh! There's a policeman there. He's going to want to get involved at some point, I'm sure. Let's kill him. Is that one there? There he is. Let's get him. Did I get him? Yep, got him. Any more, any more, any more, any more, any more, any more, any more. There's one, there's one. There's a guy. Oh, I'm getting shot at. So whoever's sh shooting at me... Oh, there's loads of people over there. Oh, that'd be good. Oh, I'm, be I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I've set myself on fire. I'm going to kill all these people. 16 more to go. There's a group of them. If this flame flower can go through this fence, I'll be laughing. Yes, 12 more to go. 12 more to go and I've got a minute. Policeman's on my ass. Oh, and they seem to have all disappeared. They seem to have all disappeared. There's one. Oh, policeman's hitting me. I don't really want to upset the police anymore. And I'm also in danger of killing myself. There's one. I've set a policeman on fire. Uh, come on, come on. Oh my god. I can't see any of them. I can't see any of them. I'm getting run over. Oh, I don't think I'm going to do this. There's a couple. Oh my god, less than 30 seconds now. Less than 30 seconds. Less than 20 seconds and I need to kill five more. I don't think I'm going to do this. I don't think I'm going to do it. One. Two. Oh god, that beeping is freaking me out. Yeah, 
done it. I just I just took a chance then and just just sprayed and shot. Careful. And quite rightly so, I'm being chased down by the gang now. And annoyingly their bullets aren't going to let me get anywhere near a car. So I'll probably I'll probably edit this out if I don't get into a car anytime soon. You will do. Drive off, drive off, drive away. And where to now? I'm gonna take this taxi. Take this taxi, head back to the safe house, save the game. You know the drill. Actually, I'm going to, I've decided I'm gonna just quickly go to the hospital just to get my health back to a hundred percent because I took that's not the way I did take quite a big hit on that mission health wise it was a good job I was wearing armor as well that came in handy so I hope you're still enjoying these playthroughs that I'm making I'm not going to tell a lie I'm enjoying making them. This is just one of my favourite ever games. Um, so, I, I don't mind doing these videos at all whatsoever. So I'm just going to do a save now. Quickly save it, quickly have a look at my game guide, and then we'll go on to the next mission. So I'm going to head back to the to the phone box now. If any children are listening, a phone box is a landline telephone that you can pay to use out on the street. Of course, we don't use them anymore because we have mobile phones. A thieving opportunist has stolen a van of my latest publication, Hub of the Press. But that spanked up idiot has left the rear doors open. And now my beautifully produced, tastefully photographed adult literature is being dropped all over Liberty. Take the van and follow that trail of Donkey Does Dallas volumes 1, 2, and 3, collecting it as you go. When you follow the trail to that thieving spank head, waste him. Then deliver my donkey derby to Triple X Max in the red light district. So apparently this is a timed mission. I need to get into this van and then I need to collect packages along the way. And each package gives me an extra one second. Which seems a bit harsh. Jesus. Oh, blimey. Yeah, I really need to... Uh, this is difficult. This is going to be a difficult one. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah, I can't imagine that I'm going to do this first time round. But I just need to make sure I collect these packages and then maybe I can stay ahead, keep afloat. There's one. Right, I've missed one. I've missed that one. And I've... Yeah, no, I've missed another one. And I've missed another one. Yes, I can't. <laughs> I can't see me doing this. I'm going to now drive really recklessly because, well, you can see how much time I've got. So I'm going to probably end up crashing or flipping the van. Right, I'm making up some time now, which is good. That's a nice little clean line of time things that I've picked up there time things that's what I'm calling them that's the technical term for the packages they're called time things missed another one how much longer where do I go where am I going where am I going am I going this oh no oh <laughs> okay I've fallen apart I've fallen apart now don't think I'm going to be able to do this. There's still more. It's still going on. When does this stop? 
When is this going to stop? I need to build up my time again. Hopefully I can collect these next few packages without any kind of problem. It's not the best car to drive. Get out of the way, please. Get out of the way, please. Thank you. Still going. Still going. No. Oh, God. God. This is too difficult. This is too difficult. I'm going to take a shortcut then. Alright, now where am I going? In here. Thank God. One. I'm on one second. I'm on one second. This is... This is... Oh, right. I think I get into this van now. No, I don't. Now you get back into the vehicle. Right. How close was that? So now I just need to drive back to this pink blip. Oh. I feel a bit queasy after that one. I got really into it. Yeah, I'm trying to make sure that the radio's off so that I don't do any sort of copyright infringement so unfortunately I'm gonna to have to play the games from now on without the radio on which is a shame because I love listening to, fa uh, to uh, flashback now I'm gonna be very lucky if this van doesn't blow up where am I going here is it in here it better be there we go there's a little blue blip get out of the way and we are done what's this that's just a news agents for any younger viewers and they're just men picking up their newspapers god bless them and that's it done oh man I can breathe now there's a taxi, I'm going to have that and I'm going to save the game. That, I think, let me just check. Yep, yeah, that's all the El Burro missions done. So that's the end of this episode. It was a short one. But um, I think this is a good time to stop. There's another load of telephone missions for somebody else that I'm going to do in the next episode. So please like, please subscribe, please share and I will see you all on the next episode, which should be out next Friday. Adios.